na mtazamaji unaendelea kutazama taarifa za mbiu weekend karibu tena Mbunge wa Bumula Jack Wamboka amekashifu vikali mfumo mpya wa kulipa karwa e citizen akisema unakandamizwa wa Kenya kipato cha chini akizungumza katika hafla ya kuchanga pesa huko Kimilili gatuzi la Bungoma aidha mbunge huyo amemtaka rais William Ruto kutupilia mbali mfumo huo huko akimrai rais apunguze gharama ya maisha ambayo inaendelea kuchangiwa na kodi juu Hao watu wetu wa Bungoma wako na mashida mengi sana. Wakienda kulipa fees wengi wao wanapeleka maziwa. Wengine wanapiga matofali, wanapeleka shule. Wengine mama zetu kwa sababu hawana mbele wala nyuma wanaenda kufanya kazi kwa shule ili wa convert ikuwe fees ya watoto. Sasa wewe Mheshimiwa Rais ukisema it's unstoppable paka walipe kwa e-citizen fees ya wanafunzi wa shule na wakati wazazi wanaanza kulia unasema it's unstoppable mheshimiwa rais waacha kuumiza wa Kenya waacha kuumiza wa Kenya waacha kuwa na appetite waacha kuwa na appetite ya pesa kila pesa hata ndogo ndogo hata ya shule sasa ukisema pesa iende kwa e-citizen Mzazi amelipa e-citizen, amelipa extra shilingi ya msini, ama mia moja. Wazazi Kenya hii wako milioni kumi. Milioni kumi ukiongeza na shilingi mia moja. Hiyo ni pesa ngapi? Msichana mmoja kwa jina Agnes Muthoni kwa sasa na kila sababu ya kutabasamu baada ya kupata nafasi ya kujiunga na kidato cha kwanza licha ya kuwa matumaini yake ya kusoma yalikuwa yamedidimia. Mwanafunzi huyo alipata nafasi hiyo baada ya Samaria Wema kujitokeza na kumlipia karo yote ya miaka minne katika shule ya upili ya Moi Girls Isinya kaunti ya Kajiado. Lydia Muthoni ambaye na ambaye mamake uh, ni ama na ambaye ni mamake msichana huyu hangeficha furaha yake kutokana na tendo hilo kwa kuwa msichana huyo alikuwa amelazimika kwanza kuuza maji kama njia kujichumia riziki. Wasamere wema kiongozo na Samson Kimani wa shirika lisilo la serikali almarufu kama Zunguka walitoa wito kwa serikali kujiza titi katika kuwasaidia wanafunzi wote ambao hawajiwezi. Awali kabla nikuja hapa nilikuwa nyumbani sikuwa na furaha. Nilikuwa naona wenzangu wakienda shule na isi vibaya. Natamani kuwa shule ili niweze kusoma, nipite, niweze kusaidia mama yangu. Mm, sa nikapata usaidizi kutoka from Zunguka Africa Company. Leo niko hapa Moigas National School. I'm happy na nitaweza kusoma kwa bidii ili niweze kupata A niende Harvard University. Hapo awali nilikuwa na huzuni. Siku hata naweza kulala. Nilikuwa nimeona kama mtoto wangu hata yeye enda shule. Masiku zilikuwa zimeenda but tulipata usaidizi kutoka Zunguka Africa. Adam happy ametusaidia mtoto wangu ameingia shule ame join form 1 i'm happy uh, in the spirit of compassion uh, tujaribu kumshikilia agnes na pia tunafurahi sana for isinya girls the principal the administration shukran sana kwa kukubali kumchukua tunajua uh, time imeendelea sana lakini hamkusita kumadmit agnes tunashukuru sana the zukuka africa tours and travel for their generosity and even touching mankind especially for the sponsorship for this young girl so that she can achieve her dreams and aspirations Nam na serikali ya kaunti ya Makueni sasa imeanzisha ukarabati wa baadhi ya barabara maya katika ni bunge la Kibwezi East baada ya barabara nyingi kuharibiwa na mvua kubwa 
ambayo ilinyesha mwishoni mwaka jana Waziri Sebastian Kioni ambaye anasimamia miundombinu uchukuzi na nishati amesema ujenzi huu utakuwa ukizinduliwa hivi karibuni ili kukarabati barabara zote katika kaunti hiyo. kuingilia hapa mpaka PCA kukuja tena Kasasule. Na iko ingine inatoka Kasasule kuenda kwa Chulu line, kuenda mpaka kwa Kapu. Hiyo ilikuwa na hiyo ilikuwa na ripiwa na mbuya na sasa tumeshukuru kwa maana imeanza kasi kutoka leo. Today we were launching our roadworks for Thangeward which is just one of the wards among the 30 wards in the county where and we plan to launch the, these roadworks across the whole county in the next one week so that uh, before the end of February all the roadworks planned for this year financial year 2324 will be ongoing across all the 30 wards Kituo cha Huduma Center sasa kimeshirikiana na idara ya polisi katika kutoa mafunzo kwa maafisa wa polisi wanaofanya kazi kwenye vituo vya Huduma Center kote nchini. Maafisa hao wamepata mafunzo katika chuo cha mafunzo ya polisi cha Kiganjo. Huku wadau wakisema kuwa lengo la mafunzo hayo ni kuimarisha utoaji huduma kwa Kenya. Zaidi ya maafisa moja na hamsini wamepokea mafunzo hayo. Good morning again. Hey, uh... Uh, I continue. Mr. Mugambi, please. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning again. Good morning, sir. Just allow me to recognize the team from the Huduma Kenya Secretariat. That... Uh, I'm aware that you have been having some challenges. Already... And therefore, today, when we roll out these uh, uh, first cohort of the ones who have been trained uh, to go and offer better service, uh, it is in the belief that uh, you are the right person who can do it, and that is why we are sharpening you to make you better. Tanzania has been here, Uganda has been here, Namibia has been here, Botswana has been here. They come to see what Huduma is doing. They will not come if we are not doing the best. So you are becoming part of a team that is recognized internationally, that is recognized in the continent, and that is well recognized in, in this country. The National Police Service has been attaching police officers to supplement smooth operations in the program across all Huduma centers in the Republic of Kenya. This arrangement has worked so well. And any other measures to once enhance the effectiveness in serving Mwananchi are highly welcome. Katika masuala ya teknolojia ni kwamba kampuni ya Siom imezindua simu aina ya Redmi Note 13 series, 13 Pro na Pro 5G Pro Max ambazo zina vipengele vitakavyoshindana na aina ya simu zilizopo katika soko. Kampuni hiyo ilizindua simu hizo kwenye hafla ya kuadhimisha miaka kumi sokoni. Mkurugenzi wa kampuni hiyo nchini Kenya alisema kuwa kutokana na maendeleo ya teknolojia basi wameshirikiana kuanzisha mfano mpya wa simu sokoni ili kujali mahitaji ya wateja. The launch of Xiaomi uh, Redmi Note 13 series. Yeah. We're going to launch a, Note, a Redmi Note 13, 13 Pro and the Pro Plus 5G here which has the 200 megapixel uh, for camera, uh, the 120 watt for charging and also its water resi uh, resistance. Because this is a phone that will be able to compete effectively with any other brand in the market. As a matter of fact, we're better placed than any other brand in the market. We've introduced amazing top-level features when it comes to our smartphone. My favorite being the features that we've introduced for the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G. We have the Corning Gorilla Glass Victors. For the processor that we have this time, we have the 7200 Ultra by uh, MediaTek. The nanometers when it comes to the advanced processing are also amazing. Come in just being like a CT Kavi. Na bila shaka mtazamaji Manuel ambaye ni mpiga picha hapa ananiambia aina hiyo ama kampuni hiyo sio sio lakini ni Xiaomi. Haya bila shaka ndio masuala haya ya teknolojia yanaturuhusu tutamatishe mbi weekend Jumamosi ya leo mingi zaidi ni kwenye KTN le weekend saa 1. Naitwa Cecilia Wakesho Mathuva 
endelea kutazama kwa heri.